Can you believe he's really here? No, he took my room. I know. Mom said it's going to be a long time. Oh, man. Oh, I know. Hey, guys, what do we, what do we whisper about? Hey, hey Pastor. Hey, Pastor. Well, something very big happened. What happened? <gasps> Our grandpa moved in. That sounds exciting. Ah, not really. Not no. Pastor, our grandpa is really crabby. Crabby? Yeah. No, I'm sure you guys are exaggerating no. a little bit. Hey, where are you kids? This house is a mess. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, he does sound a little crabby. Ah, there you are. Oh, hi, grandpa. Uh, well, hi. Well, I'd like to introduce you to Pastor Lance. And Pastor Lance, uh, this is Grandpa Lee. What? Very pleased to meet you. Is Lee short for anything? Are you Grandpa Leroy? Yeah, 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 that's well, right. very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What are you doing here? Well, I came over to check on the kids. You know, it's summer here, and the kids have had a lot of time on their hands because of the virus. We're using that time wisely, and we're learning Bible verses, but we're learning them through song. Yeah, Grandpa, we learned this really cool one last night. Do everything without complaining or arguing. I'm glad you guys liked that one. I hope you kids did too, because that's probably one of the hardest verses there is to go through life without complaining or arguing. What do you guys say that we remind ourselves about it? Yeah. How about you, Grandpa? You want to help us out? Yeah, sure. The way we taught it to the kids last time, and we can teach it to you this way, you just have to worry about one word, Grandpa, and your word is complaining. Let me hear it. Complaining. All right, and then Gertrude, your word is arguing. Let me hear it. Okay, arguing. Of course, and then Bert, just like the last time, you've got children of God. Oh, I got this. Children of God. Very good. So we'll sing it pretty slow at first, and then when I point to you, I want to hear your word, and we'll remind ourselves of how important this verse is. Let's try it. Miss Heidi's with us. and pure children of God. Let's try it all together, but I'll still kind of want to hear your words a little stronger. Here we go. Do everything without complaining. Do everything without arguing. So that you can become blameless and pure verses are excellent, but we want to use this summer to God's glory. He told us if we hide his words in our heart, we won't sin against him. So what do you say this week we learn a couple more? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, the Bible writes these things for us, and the Bible expects parents to obey God and grandparents to obey God. And then it says that children are to obey their parents. This verse is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1, and it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. I'll sing it for you first, and then why don't you guys sing it with me? Because it's an important one for us. Let's try it. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. For this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Why don't you guys sing it with me? Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. For this is right. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. verses are really good to learn, but what? not all of our friends, well, they don't really want to learn them. Oh, yeah, okay. Pastor, some of my friends made fun of me when I tried to teach yeah. them to learn. Oh, so you ran into some friends and some kids that were mean. Yeah. yeah. You know, sadly, it's not just kids that can be mean. You agree with that, Grandpa? Yeah, adults can be pretty mean, too. And you know that trouble is sometimes we think to ourselves well if somebody's mean to me i'm going to be mean back like evil for evil but you know there's another verse in the bible that tells us that we don't have to do that 
This one is in Romans chapter 12 and verse 21, and it says the opposite of what the world might teach you. It says, do not be overcome by evil. Instead, overcome evil with good. So the exact opposite. Don't try to get even with somebody. Instead, do good. You guys want to try that one with me? Yeah. This is Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by evil. Overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil. One more time. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil. With good, with good. Uh, that's a good one. That's uh, something that I think that you guys should put into practice. Even though I know sometimes it might seem hard, I want you to keep doing good to others. Well, Pastor, yeah. well, I don't think it's hard. Oh, good. Yeah, I agree. Really? It's impossible! <laughs> no arguing? Be good to everyone? And no complaining. Listen, I agree with you. You kids probably feel the same way. I struggle. When it rains a lot or when it's cold in the winter, I find myself complaining too. So I have one more verse for you, and this one will tell you how you can do these things. God didn't leave us here alone. When Christ left, he said, I'm going to be here to still help you. There's a verse in Philippians that is wonderful. It says, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things, not on my own, but through Christ who strengthens me. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So when you start worrying and you think, I, I want to get even with somebody, or you feel like arguing with your brother and sister, or grandpa, if it ever happens to you, that you feel like complaining. Never. <laughs> what you tell yourself is, Lord, I need help. And then he said, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's finish up today with that. I can do all things. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. One more time. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ who strengthens me. That's great, guys. Now, together, we've learned six verses already this summer. And I know that some of them are going to be hard, especially the no complaining or arguing or, you know, doing good for evil instead of evil for evil. So today we're going to leave you with this thought, or at least my friends are going to leave you with this thought. If you're struggling, don't give up because Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.